Good evening, folks. This is Diamond from the Oppenheimer Ranch Project on a Tuesday evening at 6.32 p.m. Mountain Time. Fortunately, we had a major quake in, er in uh, Mexico coming in at 7.1 on the Richter scale. Here are the details. The depth was 51 kilometers. That's a deep one, folks. Um, this comes after we just had a major 8.1, and I want to point a few things out to you real quick here and how it relates to the grand solar minimum. Big earthquakes occur at low sunspot numbers. The current cycle we're in is the lowest cycle in a hundred years. And a very low sunspot number cycle. We are going into a period of extremely low sunspots. Big earthquakes generally occur at low sunspot numbers. Here's just some evidence, low sunspot numbers. The correlation on the solar cycle graphs here. Massive earthquakes happening down on the lows. The data gets deeper. If you go back into the past, during all the grand minimums, the Dalton, the Maunder, the Spohr, the Wolf, the Oort, dynasties collapse. The Song dynasty collapsed, the Yan dynasty collapsed, the Zhihe, the Ming dynasty collapsed in the Maunder, the Northern Chinese famine of the Qing dynasty during the Dalton. Here, take a look at the top here in purple. These are major volcanic eruptions happening during minimums. There's Krakatoa during the Dalton. Here's a major volcanic eruption. And it, what it does is it, these volcanic eruptions cause the temperature that's already dropping to drop extremely quickly. And it happens all the time here in 1257, back here in 540. Now what I'm going to leave you with here in links down on the bottom here is a ton of information. So you can do your own research on cosmic solar radiation as the cause of earthquakes and volcanic eruptions. You'll get a link here. You're going to get this paper, <coughs> Explosive Volcanic Eruptions Triggered by Cosmic Rays. These are full papers, folks. You're going to have lots to read here. The Solar Minimum, we all have heard John Casey. If you haven't, There'll be links to these videos. He has a new book called Upheaval where he correlates volcanic eruptions and earthquakes to grand solar minima. And we're going to get into that in a little bit here and something that just happened today I think you'll be interested in. Here's the possible correlation between solar and volcanic activity in a long-term scale. This paper will be included in the links below. Here are the influences of solar cycles on earthquakes by Tavares and Azevedo. This will be a link in the bottom to this paper, full paper. I just want to quick go over something here, weather extremes and other risks during grand minima, because we already know about the crop failures that are currently happening. I'm going to have another video tonight on uh, what's happening here in my local area in regards to the grand solar minimum. So stay tuned for that and watch that because weather extremes, earthquakes and volcanism is the norm during minimums. You'll be able to read this, and it has a lot to do with Mount Tambora, cooling the planet, and causing massive crop loss. So you'll have a link to that paper. And, but real quick, I want to show you something here that just came out. <coughs> There's an earthquake that just happened here in Albion, Illinois. One of the largest earthquakes in a while in a strange area. Um... This Southern Illinois magnitude quake is the strongest to hit in years. And if you know anything about this area, and if you know about grand solar minimums, you know what happened and the New Madrid fault zone. Albion is right near the New Madrid fault zone here. And 207 years ago, 206 years ago, were the largest cratonic earthquakes ever to hit North America. And if it were to happen today, Hundreds of pipelines would rupture and flow into the Gulf of Mexico. The entire country would be cut off from each other because all the bridges would break. And the last time this happened, the Mississippi flowed north for years and it had to be redirected back south. So there has been an earthquake in that area. We have very low sunspot numbers. 
and big earthquakes generally occur at low sunspot numbers. And we are long overdue for a quake on the 1811-1812 New Madrid Fault Zone. <clears throat> the last time it happened was during the last minimum. I hope you got something out of the video. You're certainly going to get a lot of homework to do. Please watch John Casey's talks with Adapt 2030. He has plenty of videos where he talks. Uh, he's the author of Upheaval and Dark Winter. He talks about the correlation between earthquakes and volcanism during grand solar minimums. I'll link you to these charts so you can see for yourself uh, what is happening and what will be coming. It will be picking up. Volcanism is already picking up and we can already see the large scale magnitude earthquakes picking up. Their periodicity is increasing. It's not, this is not a rare thing. This is just a rare thing that hasn't happened in a long time because we haven't been in a grand minimum in a long time. So the graphs will be here. I hope you got a lot of the video. Please subscribe to our channel and share this with like-minded people. And for heaven's sake, folks, be safe.